IT News. Yeah, this is uh, Commander Weber with the Week in Review for August 25th. Uh, our top story, yesterday was the start of the annual weigh-in for all the animals at the London Zoo. Uh, this helps the zoo monitor animal health, uh, feeding trends, and more. However, officials had to halt the weigh-in when a fight broke out between the kangaroo and orangutan ahead of their big pay-per-view match. And uh, the lemurs are getting sensitivity training for fat-shaming the sloths. It's, it's fucking chaos over there. Uh, in fashion news, The Gap has reported sales down 14% from this time last year, reporting another quarter of declining sales across its brands. So it looks like everybody in the unemployment line... See, because they had a series of ads in the 90s that went everybody in khakis or everybody in leather. So, you know, it was was brilliant. Trust me. And finally, Subway announced yesterday it would be acquired by Rourke Capital, a private equity company that owns Arby's, Duncan, and uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, among other brands. Uh, This deal will move the sandwich chain away from family ownership after nearly 60 years. Business analysts praised the move as families have young kids in them, and we all remember what happened last time Subway was left alone with them. (laughs) This has been Commander Weber with the Week in Review. Be sure to join me right here every Friday where I will do the same goddamn thing for all the week's most important stories. In UT News, you hear it first.